if I look at all my investments, if I look at my insurance, if I look at my gold, I look at my stock, I look at you know Bitcoin, look at all the different things I own, all, all the different businesses that we own, all the different businesses we, we invested in a, a whiskey company become the fastest growing whiskey company in the history of America called Uncle Nearest Whiskey. It's, mm-hmm. Today it's a $1.1 billion company. But if I took all my investments, none of those would even stand a, a, a flicker compared to the biggest investment I've ever made in my entire life. And I, and I can say this now, after 25 years of being in business, after spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in education and courses and masterminds and events, the biggest investment has been, I know it sounds cliche, but is, by, is in my investment into the capacity of me earning income. Learning skill sets that allow me to learn to sell, negotiate, understanding human nature. That's been my biggest investment because I've been in the insurance industry for 25 years. An insurance policy hasn't changed my life. Brother, I'm still here, <laughs> yeah. right? And, and and thank goodness I haven't had any of the, the big ones, the heart attack, stroke, cancer, where living benefits and a life insurance policy can be paid out because often, oftentimes people think that death, death benefit is the only reason for life insurance. No, living benefits of life insurance today, there's only 17 to 19 companies that offer living benefits on their policies, modern contracts, that if you have a heart attack, stroke, or cancer, it actually pays you a portion of the death benefit while you're alive since you survived that change in health. So, so I haven't faced that. So... Insurance hasn't changed my life. I've got millions of dollars of savings, millions of dollars in our life insurance policies. That really hasn't changed my life. But if I look back in the totality of what has made me uh, not only a millionaire, a duck a millionaire, and in the next five years, brother, somebody's going to be cutting me a, a nice, healthy $100 million check, okay, is my capacity to grow as an individual because if you want to grow as an entrepreneur, you got to grow as a leader. You got to grow as a man. You got to grow as a father. You got to, because the way I look at it, uh, raising my children it has the same parallels as raising people in my business, right? Of course, your children, your family, and the people that work for you work for you, but it's the same relationship building, lead by example, drive, what's your next, uh, you know, let, let me find you in the good times, let me coach you through the bad times. And so that capacity of investing in yourself, it's, it's very cliche, but if you break it down to very simple things, skill sets is investing in yourself. Associations is investing in yourself experiences is investing yourself because people can get information. I ask this in my seminars all the time. Where do most people get information? Very simple, right there, your cell phone, which is an era that that befuddles us because us was a library or even encyclopedias. Where do people get information? Their phone, online, internet, Google it. Second, where do most people get formal education? Well, I got to go to school, got to go to trade program, right? Get my certification, get my degree. Third question, biggest one, where do most people gain and, and obtain wisdom. Boom, silence. And that's what we really need. 